hello what's up guys it's crypto everything here again with another new testnet video um in today's video we're going to be doing the horizon testnet okay as you can see right here this is an article normally that will tell you how to go about it but as usual i've already gone through the whole process and done the heavy lifting for you so all you just have to do is watch every single step i make in this video and then you will be on the right side of things okay so um before i move into the video um if you are new to my youtube channel and you have not subscribed yet or you are thinking whether to subscribe but well, i should let you know right now that if you do you're going to be getting quality content for your time i'm going to be giving you airdrops as soon as they come out um testnet airdrops as soon as they come out for potential airdrops okay um and if you understand this then you'll be good to go and you should know that not all airdrops you are going to get and not all airdrops are going to worth much and some are going to worth a lot and some are not going to worth anything sometimes you might get sometimes you might not get so this is what i usually iron out for people to understand okay in case you got nothing okay so with that said for this airdrop all we are going to need first of all is our metamask okay so by now i expect you to have metamask whether you're using android or you're using um, pc or desktop doesn't matter okay so now now the next thing we want to do is after you have gotten your metamask wallet we want to go to chainleak.org sorry to cut in but if you are a nigerian and you are watching this video and you have any crypto coin to sell i will buy those coins from you at good rates my whatsapp contact is in the description below reach me and we can make deals uh chainlist.org to add our bs's um smart chain so if you you need to switch to the binance smart chain okay so you need to switch to this binance smart chain if you don't have binance smart chain already on your um on your metamask you can switch here so all you have to do is come to chainlist or connect your wallet and then click on add to metamask so we need to add the test net not the main net okay so we need to add the test net and then click on add to metamask automatically it's going to be added to your metamask and then you'll be good to go so after we've gotten um the the Binance Smart Chain. The next thing we want to do is we want to get some Binance Smart Chain Faucet tokens. Okay, so we move to to this uh to the faucet where you can get some BNB, some testnet BNB. Okay, so all you just have to do is come over here and then paste in your address. Okay, and just click on Give Me BNB. Then one BNB. So you should know that you can only receive um once in twenty four hours. As you can see, funding requested accepted for this so in some few seconds okay so you can see funded so right now it should be in my account so if i check my my wallet i should see some bnb okay so if you're doing this for the very first time it's not going to take much just to paste in your wallet address and then um it's going to be sent to your wallet as you can see right now i i think i was sent about zero um, okay i have about 1.9 uh bnb so it's, you see tbnb that's testnet bnb okay this is not real money you can't use it to purchase anything in real life okay so now that i've gotten some faucet tokens some bnb faucet tokens um if you go to the article if you scroll down the article you're gonna see some things okay so we will, first of all we need to add all the this to these um addresses to our metamask we need to import all these tokens okay it is not a, it is not a must for you to import them okay you why you are why you need to import is just for you to see the tokens it doesn't mean that they are not in your wallet it's just for you to be visible if you want to do that okay so if i copy and paste it i'm just going to go to my wallet and then copy and paste this import these tokens okay but you can actually decide not to import and then it still moves smoothly okay I'm going to leave all of the links in the description description below as usual okay so all the links you need so i can just come down here and just click on import but i think i have already imported them or did i okay no i have not so just click on import and then just copy and paste the contract address you just copy automatically it's going to fill in for you and then just click on add custom tokens okay and import this is how you this is what you're going to do for both of them okay so i'm just going to show just this one then then you'll be able to do the rest by yourself okay so i just move to the next one okay so as you can see i have 0 zusd and 0 hcn so these are the tokens that we are going to be needing for um this test net okay so these other ones i got them from different test net and so it doesn't it's not connected with this so now now that we've gotten we've imported the tokens now we need to actually get some of faucet tokens here so that now this is where it gets tricky so make sure you stick with me okay now when we move to the article that we are using which is this okay so we want to get 
this is the first set okay so if you come over here i'm going to leave all of the links in the description so if you click on the first set okay and you open it it's going to show you a different one because normally the, the kind of faucets that you're used to is something like this just one click and then you are good to go but this is different okay so when you come over back to where once you've clicked on the faucet now it's going to take you to a different a whole new page okay so it's going to come over here this is the bsc smart chain um the um the bsc scan sorry but this is for the test net now if you are eventually you come over here and you are seeing you're not seeing what is on my screen like this maybe yours doesn't appear like this all you have to do is move over to the contract section click on the contract where is highlighted click on contract and then come over to write contract okay then it's going to bring you over here so the next thing you want to do is keep, click on connect to web3 so once you click on it then you choose metamask okay so automatically it's going to tell you to connect to your metamask and then you can be able to claim some, some tokens and then make sure you stick with me because there's something tricky again that i'm still going to show you okay so we'll just click on continue and approve the trans transaction okay okay now as you can see my wallet has been connected my web3 wallet has been connected now let's go back to the article okay so it says here we need to paste this we'll have to copy and paste so i want to copy this this um text here that says well this one i don't know this one billion or something i don't know just copy all of it minus the quotes copy now go back to the faucet which is here that you just connected now you leave number one go to number two in this box where it says this this amount just paste in that uh those figures right there and click on right so when you click on right something is going to pop up you're going to have to approve and then some tokens are going to be sent so once you click on right automatically it's going to tell you to confirm the transaction so what this is is uh, we we are confirming that we need some of these tokens to be sent to our wallet and then you see, we need bnb to confirm this transaction so first of all you need to get some bnb first before you make this move okay so once you have confirmed this transaction um it's going to be sent to your wallet okay and you should know that you can do this multiple times so the more of this you do the more funds you have in your account okay so right now it says that i think the transaction has gone through let's check our balance to see if we have actually gotten something okay Okay, so once you check the my balance now, you can see that I have 100 HCN, whereas I had zero before. So if I do it multiple times, I'm going to have more HCN, okay? But the most important token, um, coin that you need here is this, your ZUSD. So we're going to go down to the ZUSD um, section, which is the number three, and then we're still going to paste the same thing all over there and just click on write, okay? And then when you click on write, it's going to tell you to approve. And once you approve 100 um, H, um, ZU, um, I don't know, US, ZUSD is going to be sent to your MetaMask, okay? okay so after doing it three times as you can see i got 300 zet usd so for each time you do it you get a hundred so the more you do it, the more coins you have okay now that we've gotten some tokens now we can go into the website proper okay so we just go to the um the website okay so all of the links like i said i will always leave them in the description below so i'm going to label them accordingly as to what they are okay if you're unable to get the article okay so first of all the next thing you want to do is come over here and connect your wallet so my wallet is already connected so we just have to click on connect and your metamask you connect it so what we actually want to do here is just to make do some trades okay so we can click on come over to this trade section okay and then trade some tokens just randomly trade some tokens we're gonna to buy and sell buy and sell some random tokens okay coins okay so as if you if you click on this drop down menu you're going to see a series of coins um, or currency pairs as you can see this is cardano against the zusd so i just just a few coins here maybe about 10 so i'm just going to be playing with a few of them okay so let's do let me say do bitcoin and zusd so we want to buy so if you come over here you can see that we are on the buy section you can click here if you click here we'll be on the sell section so we want to sell our zbnb so if you click on this place that means you want to buy zbnb so if you you can either put in the amount that you want to buy like you can see we have just 300 zusd here we can decide to put in some figures if we want to or we can just come over here and slide this down here to in percentage to tell us how much so if you want to use 50 percent that means that is a 150 so 50 percent 150 so it depends on how you want to do it so i can just decide to slide maybe i want to buy 150 dollars worth of zbnb with usdc um, or zusd okay i just click on over here this buy here click on buy and then we'll have to confirm the transaction that's just 
pretty simple. It's as simple as it can be. We just have to play around with some buy and um, sell. Okay, so we're just going to be buying some different coins, not just one. I like to just play with a few coins. Okay, so um, although in this video, I might not be able to take all of the coins, but you, you, you have the general idea as to what you are supposed to do. Just buy and sell. Okay, right now, as you can see, if you come over here, it says pending meaning that the transaction has not come through yet. So they're trying to buy okay my bnb zbnb with my zjosdt so if if i finish buying if once the transaction is um, um done i think i'm going to see it down here i'm going to see it down here so right now you can see that we have just us dollar which is zjosd so after buying this bnb is going to change as you can see i have bnb right now zbnb so i my balance is 150 so i can decide to buy a different coin let's say okay let's go with um um, dodge let's go to z dodge okay if we click on z dodge now we'll come over here to where it is we still have 150 remaining in our balance so we can decide to buy okay, let's buy a hundred dollars worth okay a hundred and nine dollars so we just click on buy z usd okay so we are dealing with buy now so for uh, we are going to be talking about the sell later okay just in a few so as you can see i have z dodge right now so i can decide to come to my portfolio click on portfolio over right here and it's going to tell me all of my coins that i have as you can see i have three coins us dollar bnb and z dodge okay now that we have gotten those coins we can decide to sell some of the sell some of the coins so we'll go back to the trade okay so so where it says buy z dodge okay we want to sell or you can just come over here click on the coin that you want by yourself okay just click on it the market is going to open for you automatically okay so we bought before now we want to sell so click on sell sell order here okay so we're going to ask us how much we want to sell so we have it 826 z dodge so maybe we want to sell i have 50 percent of it okay and then sell some dodge so sometimes it might tell you reverted all you just have to do is just wait a bit or reload the page and then click on it again now confirm Okay, so as you can see, our transaction has succeeded. Okay, so we have sold half of our, um, our Z Dodge for US dollar. Maybe we can decide to sell, or I don't know, maybe some Binance coins too. Let's click on Binance. Okay, click on it, and it's going to open the trade for you. So you can see automatically that it has opened it up. Then we want to sell, it's already on the sell um, section. So just click on maybe 50%, depends on you. Um, just click on sell some BNB okay and then i just approve the transaction as usual okay so as you can see we have successfully sold some of our zbnb so that is pretty much all that we just need to do in this um place just trade maybe if you you can go back to the faucet to claim some more zusd buy more coins and just play around with more coins instead of just one coin okay so there are different currency pairs here you can just do the polka dots you can do the ethereum the polygon i don't know just play with it around you play around with this whole thing okay so as simple as it is make sure you follow my step my video step by step and considering this other aspect make sure you actually look into my video to because you won't be able to get this part if you just go by yourself okay so and i trust you understand all i have been teaching you in this video and if you actually did like the video please subscribe to my youtube channel and then give this video a like please just to support me okay and i will see you next time guys bye